guys, welcome back to my channel. What was that? <laughs> my name is Noelle. Um, yeah, if you're new here, hi. If you're not, hey, what's up? Welcome back. Welcome back regardless. Um, today I'm going to go ahead and let you guys follow me. I would, I mean, it's kind of a tutorial. It's kind of not, I'm super itchy. I'm sorry. I'm really sunburnt. You can see my little burn line here as so I keep scratching. Hence, that's why it looks like I'm half naked today, too. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you want to see how this looks, you want to see the products I use, I really try to stick to this one eyeshadow palette, the Jaclyn Hill palette. There was one flock, so we kind of made a detour from the palette. But if you don't want to even follow that stuff, you don't need to worry about it. But yeah, if you want to see this orangey ish, what are we calling this? Spring, fiery, summery makeup look and keep watching the video guys thanks all right guys as you can see i've already done my base i've gone ahead and done my foundation blush bronzer <laughs> that highlight no um i went ahead and did this because i feel like it's redundant eyebrows too why am i talking with my hands so much it's like i'm from jersey sorry sorry i didn't mean any offense by that but you know um anyway so what i'm going to go ahead and do to create the look. I don't even know what this look is going to look like yet, let's be honest. This is before the intro and outro. Um, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I keep seeing the lighting goes in and out of this video. I'm sorry guys, like this is a whole new kind of thing I'm trying to, like area wise. And if you hear people outside, first of all, it's pouring its ass off because the rain has been going on for a million days here and also I guess somebody decided it would be a great idea to mow the grass in the rain my neighbors so there's that anyway back to the tutorial we're gonna go ahead and go on with the Jaclyn Hill palette I don't know what this is gonna look like what I was saying about the lighting though sorry it's a whole new thing so um, whole new area whole new setup you can see my filthy vanity don't come for me in the comments because this is honestly what it looks like every day because I mean, I throw my makeup on and go to work, so whatever. But let's go ahead and get started. Right, I'm starting with this look. I think I'm gonna. I'm obviously. I set my primer, concealer, whatever you want to call it. Today I went. I went ahead with the um, Benefit Lemonade as my primer. So I need to set it down with a powder. So I'm gonna go on with this first shade, and this is in the shade in light in the palette. I'm gonna use my crown. I don't know, crown brush, I don't know what it's called, it's crease, crown crease brush, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyeshadow. Transition wise, I'm gonna go on with this big bold color here, this one. This is gonna be in the color Creamsicle. I really want this to kind of be a vibrant look, I guess. Why does it look like I'm totally naked when I'm zoomed in? <laughs> do is go ahead and go on with this color here. Oof. This looks like this is the color Hunt that I'm going to go on with and I'm going to go ahead and change my brush. I'm going to go on with the Biloxi 2 on 7 blending brush. This is a small tapered brush but it's still a fluffy brush. And we're going to go ahead and go in with the crease again but this is just going to give a little bit more brighter pop definition. I 
I kind of blended the other color away, which is okay, because we'll go back in later and clean that up. I really just wanted that transition shade in there. in and clean the edges up and add just a little bit more of that first color that creamsicle color this is a fluffy brush so it's not going to be as vibrant so it's going to diffuse the color a little bit just want to go over top like on the outer portion of that with the creamsicle color helps blend out some of the harshness I guess So, for the eyelid, I think I'm actually going to use that creamsicle color. I know it's a matte color, and I don't typically do mattes on the eyelids, but today we're winging it, so why not? We're going to get in there and pack it on, and for that, if anybody's in there, it's just that e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush, that's all it's. up the outer edges with a little bit of the red a red not the red but I think I'm gonna go in with this shade Jax this color Jax we're gonna go ahead and go in with For um, that I'm edge. using the elf blending eyeshadow brush line I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with the elf eyeshadow brush and then I think I'm gonna go back in with the mm, 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 hunts color here in the palette and just kind of like press it in under my eye so I like to take it kind of just on the tip of the brush if you can see that there that way the color kind of stays concentrated and it doesn't get everywhere and then just in a patting motion my fluffy brush again the little smaller luxie blending brush I'm gonna go back in with that cream sickle color and blend this out kind of smoke it out a little bit I'm still gonna do I'm just not gonna do black today I think I actually want to go ahead and use this blue to brighten the shade look up so this is in the shade twerk I have this dual ended brush I sorry I don't know who this is from but I'm gonna go ahead and take this end right here and kind of use it as a liner and I'm gonna take that blue color and do like a All winged right, so eyeliner with it. I could not find the eyeliner that I was looking for because Milani has a liquid eyeliner that's pretty bright and blue but I ended up finding, which is kind of cool because this is my favorite liquid eyeliner anyway. This is the in the e.l.f. liquid liner, but this is in the shade Midnight. So it is still blue, but it's too dark of a blue. And I want a very bright, vibrant blue like what's in that palette. That is not a great one to line with. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now, and I'm sorry, I'm going to go in with the Electric palette. And I'm going to go in on top of the eyeliner with this shade down here. And... The shade chaos and just pat that on top of my blue eyeliner and I'm going to use the same angled brush that I was using before this one I have used as a liner and it's amazing I 
didn't initially want to go on with this blue because I wanted to try to stay in the same palette, but it just wasn't giving me the shade of blue that I wanted. I have no clue. This is my mom ordered this off that Wish website. It's just I don't know if it's I don't even know what language it is, so I'm not gonna try to offend anybody. But I'm gonna go ahead and tight line with that. And yes, you're not supposed to pull on your eyelids, but you do you, you live your own life. actually close to the lash line and pat that um, Urban Decay color in again. Let's use the same brush. Throw on some mascara. I'm going to go in with my IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. this kind of fiery red orangey look I'm gonna go in with my lip color the Urban Decay Comfort Matte in the shade Doubt it's like a reddish orange color Because I don't have a lip liner really to match this color, what I like to do is just take a really thin lip brush, get the color off your lipstick, and you can line it with the same color lipstick. So that's it. That's how you get this fiery reddish orange look. Um, I suck at outros and I say that in every outro so you guys already know it's coming. But that's kind of it for this look. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. It's still a work in progress. We all know that. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more videos, if you want to see more of me, you want me to keep these coming, you know what to do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button. And thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.